from I expect a clean fight. This trunk's right here, good. There's the line. There's the line on these trunks there. Touch them up now and go back to your corner. That was against Stephen Shaw, Timmy, and that was a fight that we were up there calling. It was a split decision win for F.A., but a fight in which there was really lackluster action, especially down the <laughs> I'm uh, trying to be I'm nice, Timmy. Yeah. And the crowd was booing in the late rounds. And he admitted to us yesterday, he said, listen, I didn't perform to my standard, and I go back and I watch it, and I see all my one. mistakes. Yeah, he saw all his mistakes. He should have let his hands go a little bit more. He's going to have to let his hands go tonight and keep his distance watch because his I'm going to tell you right now, Kosabuski is great at mid-range to inside. Throws explosive punches. Yes, he's slow, heavy-footed. He is a don't southpaw. Hold. Let him, don't hold. Good. But... If the Jogba allows him to stay in close and get inside that pocket, things are going to be dangerous for him tonight. Kosobutski was scheduled to fight Jared Anderson, who, of course, we will see in our main event. He was supposed to be opposite him on July 1st, which would have been another good challenge for Anderson. But he was unable to be in that fight because he found himself having visa issues to be cleared to come here to the States. He's from Kazakhstan. See, Kosobuski, his style is he's going to make it rough and tough in there. He's going to get you out of your rhythm. He attacks the body extremely well. He's a great body puncher, has a ton of experience. So he might not look pretty at all, but he will get the job done if you allow him to. A job on the other hand, Tess, he's going to have to use his jab. He's going to have to find a way to use his jab against the southpaw and maintain his distance to set up his right hand. And hopefully, he's added a little bit more to his arsenal. I see a nice little uppercut right there from him and a nice stab right hand to the body. But he's going to have to be creative tonight to be able to maintain his distance. Kosobuski able to get into the inside with three-punch combination. And speaking of that, Kosobuski was supposed to fight Jared Anderson. You know, when I asked a job by in a fighter meeting, I said, you know, what do you think of that? I mean, I know the way I think of it. They wanted Jared Anderson to have a, a little less pressure on him. They want to showcase Jared Anderson and his skills and by giving him. You mean bring Danko into yeah, the Yeah, bring him into the mix. Don't allow him to fight Kosobuski, but a part of me feel like they're trying to somewhat, and I say promoters, they're trying to test the Jogba and see if he's the real deal. If he wins this fight tonight, he moves on. But if he loses this fight, he might very well lose his contract. The Jogba able to land that right hand as Kosobuski came in. For six foot six, long frame for a Jogba, 85 inch reach. Ooh, there's that, that southpaw hand. left hand from Kosobuski. And another one that lands as he steps in here in the final minutes, final moments of round number one. Two heavyweight fights for you, topped by Jared Anderson as we come to the end of round one. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Now for a limited time, get up to 2,500 bonus cash plus complimentary maintenance on the Tucson or Santa Fe. Visit buyhyundai.com. The U.S. Open starts August 28th on ESPN. Top Rank Boxing on ESPN is presented by AutoZone. Get in the zone. And in part by Geico. See how easy it is to bundle all your insurance needs. Those are the two participants in our heavyweight main event sent to come your way. Jared Anderson and Andre Rodenko. Rodenko, 35 wins deep into his career. 16 years older than Jared Anderson. In that first round, John Kosobuski able to land that straight left hand yeah beautiful straight left hand down the pipe but Jogba right there just sitting still 
he flicked the jab out there to get his eyes to look at the jab, and he came right behind with a straight left hand, right on the money. The Jogba took it well. Punch uh, number is fairly stop, comparable. Stop, stop, stop. Watch your feet, guys. Be careful. You good? Chris Just Flores, go. our referee. Interesting enough, Kosobuski right now is, is in the orthodox stance. He changed his stance. He can fight from the orthodox stance and also from the southpaw Work stance. Work. Changing Hands things free. up a bit already. Trying to find a way to, to get past that reach of a Jogba. Jogba trying to land that uppercut on the inside. Kosobuski mostly squared up when he turns orthodox. You see the warning from Chris Flores as Kosobuski looked over to the referee. He nearly didn't protect himself. Now he steps forward with a four-punch combination. Tried to come over the top with the right hand. Jogba rops around with one of his own. They don't like they don't like body shots. I'm, I'm like, he's, he's turning to the side here. That that last one there's the was warning low. from Flores. Yes, it was low. But I'm knowing that the, the, the Eastern Europeans, they don't like getting hit down to the body. Continuing theme after your analysis of the Alexander Usyk yes. fight. Yes. That is the big talk about in boxing today. Usyk retaining his three heavyweight belts, the unified champion, but in the fifth round, major controversy over was it or wasn't it a low blow. It was ruled a low blow. Oh, and wrestling down. As a Jogba tears down Kasabuski, very awkward the way that the legs curled up there. And now Flores, the referee, has got to really take control of things. They get tangled up right here. Neither guy is trying to give an inch mentally right here. They're trying to show their strength. Kosabuski right there, leaning back, getting the Jogba off his back. Both men fall into the canvas. The right hand to the body from a Jogba. Kosobuski back in that southpaw stance now, and he sends a straight left right to the chest of Ajagba as the pace is definitely picked up here in round number two as a straight right came in from F.A. Ajagba. But I'm seeing some new nuances to Ajagba's game. He's now throwing punches in the inside. His inside game wasn't so hot. You're seeing short uppercuts up the middle, around the guard, and down to the body. This is good stuff from him. Off balance was Kosobuski. Oh, and he just hurt him. And a right hand comes in from Ajagba as he does damage here at the end of round number two. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Now for a limited time, get up to 2,500 bonus cash plus complimentary maintenance on the Tucson or Santa Fe. Visit buyhyundai.com. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, I've been coming up here to skip. You see, it's so thin and crispy, it's not just perfect for eating. It's also perfect for skipping. Mm. Whoa. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, slices of thin crust pizza just fly out of the lake. Like a miracle. I got one! Me too! The lake giveth thin crust! It's a hot and ready thin crust summer at Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza. Hard Rock Hotel Casino here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Heavyweight action tonight. In that last round, F.A. Ajagba had much success. He landed 16 of 35 power punches. Of course, our main event is set to come your way with the rising star, Jared Anderson. Bernardo's in that locker room with news. Yes, Joe, apparently there was exposed on, foam on the inside of not only the first choice gloves of Jared Anderson, but also the backup gloves. They will use them there, putting them on right now, despite what happened. Low blow has floored F.A. Ajagba, and he is in serious pain. Now the retaliation from Kosobuski. Oh, that is. Intended. He intended yeah, to land that shot twice. I mean, that is going way low and driving an uppercut. And that's because he feels that Ajagba is getting away from hitting him low. And also the wrestling low. down in the last round. Man, this has been the, like the theme of the day. It sure has. 
It's amazing to me. Jogba confirms to Chris Flores that he is good to continue. That's a one point deduction here in round three. One point low blow. You need to keep it, you keep it clean. You understand me? Keep it clean. Okay? In the corner. In the corner. You all right? The undefeated Jean Kosabuski from Kazakhstan deducted a point for a low blow. Get him up. Kosabuski is getting frustrated with the body shots that are landing on his body. He doesn't like them. And he's finding any way. And then low blow right There's another here. one. Unreal. There's another one. He's about to, he don't get the cue. He could be sitting here with a DQ at any moment. Another point deduction. One more, it's over. Hey, do not foul him anymore. Do not foul him anymore. Keep him up, keep him up. Time in. Straight left hand from Kosobuski. Remember, if anything strays low, he could lose by DQ here. Don't hit him low. Kosobuski trying to burrow his way to the inside. But you see, Jogba doing well, stepping back, maintaining his distance and extension on his punches. No, stop! Time! Get over there. You gotta keep him up, okay? I understand it's off the arm, but you gotta worry, you gotta worry about the arm. So now the, the warning to a Jogba. It's not intentional. Time in, box. He's leaning forward, came off the arm right there. Kosabusi tucked up, riding that right hand no. to the body. Come on, let's go. That jab straight low. Oh, a big left hand comes in. A Jogba fires back. Kosabusi's frustrated, Tess. Out. He's frustrated right now. He's doing anything to get past Work that. Out. Past those long arms, getting in the inside, trying to get away from them body shots. See him leaning forward. The uppercut is available for a jog buff. He just throws it right up the middles to split that guard. He could faint to the body and throw that uppercut. There's another body shot from F.A. a jog buff. Kosobuski comes sweeping in. Ooh. Let him go. Work Big out. shots right there. That's the range that Kosobuski wants to work. He wants to work in close. No. Oh, that was low. That's it. Let's see what the referee does here. Come on. You need to keep that up. Let's go. You good? One more warning. Come on, keep it clean. Box. Lunges in with the left. Back to the jab for a Jogba. Jogba with a right hand. That high guard of Kosobuski. Able to fire off. There's never been a better time to get away with a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Now's the time to get in and get away. Now for a limited time, get up to 2,500 bonus cash plus complimentary maintenance on the Tucson or Santa Fe. Visit buyhyundai.com. You know, every summer, for as long as I can remember, I've been coming up here to skip. You see, it's so thin and crispy, it's not just perfect for eating, it's also perfect for skipping. Mm. Whoa. Gary Riley, who is the trainer of Jared Anderson, asked to check the gloves of Andre Rudenko. But since everything was cleared up with Jared Anderson's glove, they will be using the second choice gloves of Jared Anderson, despite the fact that there was some exposed foam on the inside. The commission allowed them to go ahead and use those gloves for tonight's main event. So that's what's going on, the drama in the locker room for our heavyweight main event, as you see Andre Rodenko off in the distance there, and Derry Riley, who's the trainer of Jared Anderson in the foreground. This is round number four. 
after a wild third round that included numerous warnings as well as two point deductions against Jan Kosobutsky, the undefeated 34-year-old heavyweight from Kazakhstan as F.A. Ajagba. Oh, that's a low blow. It's over. That's, that's going to be a DQ. You would think yep. that has to be he a DQ. He checked out. Kosobutsky checked that's out. That's it. He checked out. That's it. He, he checked just out. He that left hand purposely low. And Kosobutsky is going to suffer the first loss, and Ajagba is going to be the winner by disqualification. Terrible. Terrible. I mean, it was right in front That's of us, ridiculous. Jimmy. Not even, not even five feet right in front of us, as blatant as could be. Literally, on purpose, thought he was safe. The referee was on that side. That's exactly the case. He was on that side, and he saw it. It was deliberate. Listen, we've seen it so many times. If a fighter believes that the referee is on the opposite side, shielded by his yes. opponent, they will often try to get away with something. That was undoubtedly the case with Kosobuski. Right in front of the referee. He did it right But the in front referee, of him. he assumed the referee yes. could see, but he was peering around looking for it because he had given but multiple Tess, warnings. But Tess, he checked out. No, I'm no letting doubt. you know right now. No he doubt. checked out. After that last round, he, he was like, I don't, I don't want to be in here. Listen, the second round in terms of offensive production by F.A. Ajagba was 23 connects, 16 power punches, 11 to the body. You made the point that Kosobuski didn't like it to the body. He started fouling in the third round. He never stopped. And we're going to soon have an announcement of a disqualification. So F.A. Ajagba, after that lackluster outing but a win, against Stephen Shaw, who was previously undefeated, but just suffered a very bad loss you know recently. What this was? Comes back with this. You know what this was? This was this was Riddick Bowe, Andrew, Andrew Galata. <laughs> and of course, the theme would continue, as you said, after we had all the controversy today with Alexander Usyk <clears throat> and Dubois. Check in with Mark Kriegel. Exactly right, Timmy. I was there for Galata. Thank God we didn't have the same ending. He checked out. He did it in full view of the ref to get out. I'll tell you something. We've been waiting for F.A. Jogba. 6'6", 85-inch reach, Olympic pedigree. Now he finally gave us a reason to give a damn. Checked out because he was outclassed. Let's go to the ring to Mark Chinook. Ladies and gentlemen, here inside the Hard Rock Hotel in Casino Tulsa, Oklahoma, this bout comes to a conclusion at 33 seconds of round number four. Too many low blows resulting in a disqualification for the blue corner. Therefore, your winner and new WBC International Heavyweight Champion, the Silent Roller, F.A. Ajagba! Not the way F.A. Ajagba would like to secure his 18th win, but he gets his 18th win. He's the winner by way of disqualification for the excessive low blows put forth by Jean 